Hi, welcome to what's happening. Here are the top five stories. At number one, the National Economic Council, NEC, has given all states until September 9, 2024 to make their positions known on the establishment of the state police. NEC gave the deadline on Wednesday at its meeting chaired by Vice President Kashim Shatima. Briefing State House correspondents shortly after the meeting held at the Council Chamber of the State House Abuja, the Acting Governor of Oyo State, Bayo Lawal, said out of the 36 states, four states were yet to make submissions to NEC on their stand. At number two, the Trade Union Congress of Nigeria, TUC, has kicked against the latest increase in the pump price of petroleum, warning that it would worsen poverty among workers. The union made its position known in a statement on Wednesday. TUC President Comrade Festus Osifo, who signed the statement, called on the federal government to immediately revoke these decisions, promote policies that will strengthen the Naira, and take decisive steps to alleviate the sufferings of Nigerians. At number three, states affected by the recent flood disasters across the country have received the sum of 3 billion Naira from the federal government meant to cushion the effects of the sufferings of their citizens. This was disclosed on Wednesday at the National Economic Council meeting held at the State House in Abuja. The meeting, chaired by Vice President Kashim Shatima, was attended by governors and deputy governors from across the country and some ministers. The co-chair of the Bills and Belinda Gates Foundation, Bills Gates, and the president of Dangote Industries Limited, Aliko Dangote, were also present to make presentations. At number four, at least four people died and nine were wounded in a high school shooting in the U.S. state of Georgia on Wednesday, law enforcement authorities said, with a suspect taken into custody. After this latest chapter of America's gun violence crisis, gun violence researchers say the United States has witnessed 432 mass shootings this year alone. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation said four people had been killed on Wednesday by a shooter at a sports field outside Apalachi High School. There was no immediate word on the motive of the shooter. At number five, Ademola Lukman, Super Eagle Swinger, has been nominated for the 2024 Men's Ballon d'Or Prize. According to the list announced by France Football Magazine on Wednesday, the 26-year-old was shortlisted alongside 29 players for the coveted award. Lukman scored 17 goals and made 11 assists for Atlanta last season. He was also pivotal in the club winning their first ever European title. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.